What is up guys, it's your boy Realistic back with another tech news update. I haven't done these in a while, it's because the gaming PC build videos are doing so well. And I kind of enjoy making those a little bit more than the tech news update as of right now, just because of like the support I get on those videos. But yeah, I'm doing another tech news update, so let's get right into it. For the first story, we're going to go with some mobile news. We're going to talk about Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy S8 might feature a dual camera, an edge-to-edge -edge display only, and that's bas basically it. It doesn't look like the 3.5mm headphone jack will be removed, and it's looking to just be an S7S, if you guys get what I mean. It's just gonna be an S7, but with like a newer processor probably, and some other features, and most likely an IR scanner, and basically a Note 7, except an ES variant. Talking of the Note 7, Samsung has suspended Galaxy Note 7 production and sales until further notice because replacement phones uh, provided by Samsung have also been blowing up and exploding and burning people and it's all just going really bad guys so Samsung, Samsung I don't know they probably lost so many customers and honestly guys I have an S7 Edge uh, I feel pretty safe but I don't know about buying Samsung products in the future. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see about that. If you guys aren't familiar with the iPhone 6, there's this touch disease issue going on with the iPhone 6 where it just stops working. So, it's, Apple is under immense pressure for not providing an in-depth explanation as to why so many iPhone 6s and 6S Plus, I mean 6 Plus devices have stopped functioning due to this touch disease issue. And to make matters worse, the tech giant has also been slapped with a class action lawsuit thanks to many, many consumers facing this issue and Apple not willing to cooperate. So yeah, good job Apple. Next we have a Snapdragon 830 rumor. There was a Snapdragon 830 listing on a website and the announcement should not be too far away now. It's going to be manufactured on the 10 nanometer architecture and potentially feature more cores running at a higher clock rate compared to its pre predecessor, the Snapdragon 820. The 1050 Ti along with his brother will be launching on the 25th of October this year and will be replacing the GM206 and GM107 base GTX 950 and 750 Ti. This Pascal base card, the 1050 Ti, will offer better performance and, and effi efficiency figures. It's expected to perform really good on 1080 monitors for gamers and builders on a strict budget. So guys, if you guys now have a gaming, ser uh, gaming uh, PC build series going on, you, you, ought, you betcha that I'm going to be using this in a couple of my builds. So stay tuned for that, guys. The GTX 1050 Ti also has an expected price of $150 with an overclocking ability of up to 1.8 gigahertz, possibly. Asus has finally confirmed that KB Lake processors will work on all Asus 100 series motherboards, so the current Z170s, H170s, H110, and B150s, all of those will be able to run KB Lake with probably an BIOS update if I had to guess guys, but it has been confirmed by Asus, so probably Gigabyte and MSI will also allow KB Lake to work with their 100 series motherboards. I wanted to t uh, take a little time to talk about new games coming out and how they're so ridiculously massive in size. If you guys didn't know, the Infinite War Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was, was recently announced to have a hundred to need a hundred and thirty gigabytes of your system storage space space but people were pretty freaking out over this so activision has clarified that this is for both the infinite warfare game and the modern warfare remastered along with day one updates and all that stuff will total 130 gigabytes which is still pretty crazy guys 130 gigabytes but at least it's not just for infinite warfare it's also including modern war uh modern warfare remastered so yeah, if you guys didn't know, Chrome is very RAM intensive, so Chrome is going to have a December update coming soon, in two months in December, and it promises to use 50% less RAM, so that's good for all of uh, you guys with uh, two gigabytes of RAM and basically uh, Chromebooks, you know, that have barely any RAM. So yeah, good, good news for you guys. Finally, we have so much mobile news today, guys. It's kind of weird, but Xiaomi has uh, announced this Mi Max Prime 
which comes with a Snapdragon 652 processor, a 6.44 inch screen size guys, this is almost tablet category right here, and accom accommodates a huge 4800, 4850 milliamp hour battery. So for your small hand folks out there, don't buy this phone, it's just going to cause you much discomfort, including myself. I wouldn't, I would never buy this phone because it's just too big. But yeah, today we had kind of a slow tech news day and I couldn't really find much news that was too interesting to talk about. But with Zen nearing up and all these uh, new uh, deals coming out, I'm thinking about doing a hardware deals uh, series. So let me know what you guys think on that, like the best tech deals of the week. Fact, I don't know. I know other YouTubers do it, uh, like TechSource, but you know, whatever. I want to do it too. They're my inspiration. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for awesome content. Check out my other videos if you, if you like that. And let's try to reach one like on this video, guys. Yeah, a whopping one like. Let's do it, guys. So yeah, I'm realistic. Peace out.